Hello, hi, it's Henry the Computer Guy and welcome to our lesson number 18. And in this lesson, we are going to be talking about how we can handle and maintain our ICT tools or the devices that we use in ICT. Remember, these devices are like you, the human being. Why do you always go and bathe? You want to maintain the cleanness of your body. Even the computers or computer ICT devices or tools have to be handled with care and they have to be maintained such that they can stay in a good working condition. So they are telling us that taking care of your ICT tools is just as important as taking care of your books. Where do you discover your book? Such that you make it long last, you keep it well when it is clean. So the way you take care of your book, even the ICT tools have to be cared for. And they're telling us that the internal and external parts of a computer and other ICTs have to be cared for. For example, it is a keyboard. Why do you put it closer to the dust? Why don't you clean it? You monitor. Why is it dirty? You have to maintain them in a good working condition. But they can't be maintained when they are dirty. Your mouse. So, all the internal and external parts of a computer have to be maintained or have to be cared for. For example, how can we care for those computer components which are inside the system unit? You have to always have a routine, a cleaning routine. For example, once in a month, you blow out the dust out of that system unit. You're going to be maintaining your computer in a good working condition. They're telling us that taking care of ICT tools is supposed to be done by all people who use them. For example, when you come to the computer lab, why do you bring rubbish and put it there? When you see the rubbish there, at least four person pick it up then take it out. So everything, or oh, maintaining these ICT tools has to be done by everybody who uses them, not only by the person who is in charge of the lab. It has to be done by everybody who uses them. However, as a learner, you cannot do all care and safety activities. So the activities that require one to open up these tools are left to people who have undergone specialized training on how to do it. For example, your computer is having a problem. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work anymore. You cannot open it because you have little knowledge about the components even inside. You have the power supply there, the hard disks, but you might not know what they all do at the moment. So that means that you need to take it to pass to the person who actually has undergone specialized training on how to handle it, how to they say, repair it. So you're not supposed to do anything, everything on your own. They're telling us that as an ICT user, there are certain tasks you can perform to ensure your ICT tools are clean. So we are going to be looking at the items or tasks you can do and maintain your ICT tool in a good working condition. We continue. They are telling us that some of them include keep dust away. Why do you have a computer and keep it, let's say for example, where there is too much dust? Keep it in an area that is dust free. Remember, for example, you're having a keyboard. Whenever dust comes, it can prevent even the the buttons from being pressed or they always get stuck just because of the dust inside. Clean the component. So they are telling us that dust your computer to keep it free from dust and da and dirt. For example, some of the air, you find someone's hair inside the buttons, making the buttons stuck not to be easily pressed. That's why at times you press some buttons and they actually refuse to be indicated on the monitor. 
they become harder to be pressed because of the too much dust. So you have to keep your computer away from the dust. Keep food away. Do not eat and drink while or near working on a computer. Remember, you might be repairing a computer, but by accidentally knock a cup of water, then the water goes to every component of your, your device you're working upon. So you have to always keep eats and drinks away from a computer you're working on. That's why on some of the rules of our computer lab, as we shall be talking about them, we don't allow someone to come with drinks to the computer lab. Reason being, you might never know. Accidents are always common. So we continue. They are telling us that use clean and dry hands. Make sure your hands are clean before you type on the keyboard or click on the mouse. Some of you come when, when your hands are, are actually dirty. You leave the entire station or workstation when the devices or components you've been using are totally dirty. So first wash your hands before coming to the computer lab or before using an ICT tool. In that way, you're going to maintain it when it is also clean. clean. Treat with respect. If you are having problems with your computer, ask for help. Do not just bang or hit the computer component. Yeah, have ever noticed this one in the computer lab when my students are there? Someone comes, does something, it refuses to come out the way they want, then they start banging the keyboard. They start banging the monitor. That is actually a bad idea. So treat every component that you find inside the lab with respect. If something refuses to come out the way you want, put up the hand. Ask the person who is in charge of that room. They're telling us that keep the computer off power during a storm. You're not supposed to use a computer during a storm. Remember, computers use electricity. And when it is raining, lightning also will generate electricity. So when they come into contact, of course, you're going to lose the component. And if it is at the whole computer lab, you're going to lose a bigger budget. You're losing many computers, which will be a bigger budget for you to cover. So whenever it is raining heavily, just turn off the computer lab. And at least something can as well be done to prevent that. You can install what we call a lightning conductor. It can absorb that lightning and prevent your computers from trouble or damage during or when used during a storm. So they are telling us that when a computer is connected to electricity during a heavy drop down power, there is a possibility of lightning being conducted to your computer through the electrical connection. This, for this reason, it is best not to use your computer during a storm. Don't risk. Whenever it is raining, don't risk using your computer lab or computers in the computer lab. Turn them off when it is raining. Remember, the lightning can destroy everything in the computer lab. So it is always better not to use a computer when it is raining. They're telling us that we can also stop virus attacks. Stop virus attacks by installing what we call an antivirus on your computer. Why do you wait for problems to occur? Then you react. Keep them away before they happen. Install an antivirus on your computer. So they are telling us that a computer virus is a program written by a person on purpose to harm other people's computers. A computer virus is passed from one computer to another. When you share and download files without the protection of antivirus software, whenever you're over the internet, just know viruses are moving over the internet. So you should not just click on everything you find over the internet. Don't install any software you're not certain of. Don't visit sites which you don't know actually having content. Which content are they having? Because viruses move faster over a network. 
and an example is internet when you always connect to internet make sure your computer is having what we call an antivirus software because when you download that software when it has a virus all the virus is going to spread through your computer without actually you knowing so whenever you're using a computer you have to stop virus attacks by installing antivirus softwares i gave you an example already you can install smada eviki kaspasiki avast node 32 and many others that you know And lastly, they are telling us that we have to handle our devices with the care. For example, if you're having a CD, why do you actually touch inside the, part, the, the inner part or the recording part of that CD? Touch on its edges. How do you handle your component or your ICT tool? The way you handle it will also determine how or whether it will last long. So they are telling us that the way you handle your CD will determine how long they will last. Always handle the CD correctly by its edges. Not only handling a CD, but even other ICT components have to be handled with care. So this has been specifically all those things we can actually do to maintain or handle our ICT tools and keep them in a good working condition at least. So it's been Henry the Computer Guy, and if you're new to this channel, I beg you to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. I sign out.